I hope I don't get I impeded in this one, because we're fighting Magnus and I I've got nothing, I'm sorry. I have no puns. I have no grace. This intro is such a disgrace. Okay, so, Magnus Centipede stage. First off, very fun stage to go fast through, and I mainly say that because of the music. Technically speaking, this is more of a stealth stage. We've got these spotlights here. Uh, if X is caught by one, those blocks will start falling, and also those blocks have guns in them. So, don't get caught, or you're gonna get shot at a whole lot. These move no matter what, so, you know, just don't get crushed. Uh, anyway though, yeah, this is maybe one of my favorite songs in the game. This one's just real exciting. Again, this is perhaps not the best stage to go fast in, but the music really makes you want to speed up. Also, yes, that is a pain in the butt to do, uh, but I had the air dash, so I was able to get our first E-Tank, which works like it does in the first game. If you're at full health, then any energy you collect will be stored in the E-Tank, for use when you are doing badly later. <laughs> Alright, so we got this mini boss here, and he's just gonna kind of wave around a bit. Note, also, this is one of the rare times where I will actually use the charged uh, attack, but you know what? Um, this is actually kind of useful. Sonic Slicer is good for the mini boss. It's also weirdly good in this section, this vertical section here. Like, Sonic Slicer bounces off walls, and I wouldn't assume that it was, like, super good, uh, uh like, utility-wise, but no, actually, it helps a lot. It's so tiny, I wouldn't expect the bouncing to really matter, but no, nah, it's actually pretty easy to aim. Anyway, we've got another X-Hunter here. And unfortunately, it's Sergi's. I say unfortunately, even though of the X-Hunters, uh, this guy has my favorite sprites and animations. I mean, already. Look at this old man, he looks great. However, he throws off his cape and just starts doing a jump. <laughs> I love the way he just has to tuck when he does flips. It's amazing. He looks so silly, I love him. But also, I hate him because this battle sucks, so... Uh, yes, that blue thing you see flashing in and out is a shield. Uh, it will go down when he's trying to drop a mine, and you can hit him when he's jumping. Otherwise, it'll protect him. This is a very, very repetitive battle, and it's one of those where, like, once you see the attack, you know what it looks like, it's not really going to vary. But, like, having to thread your way through this attack every time is such a pain. He does it so frequently, and there's not a lot of room in this room, and he tries to make that worse by dropping mines. You can't interrupt him with charged attacks, though, so... Gomi having a fully charged buster, so... Theoretically, I could hit him twice, except he's got a shield, so... That second shot ain't gonna hit. So yeah, uh... Unfortunately, that is a huge pain to actually do. <laughs> Again, visually, you'll know what to do in this fight. It's very repetitive, you get the points. However, actually keeping it up is harder than you would think it would be. Anyway, uh, now blocks are no longer falling. Uh, I sped run that section so that the blocks didn't get in my way. However, you might have also noticed that there was like a radar in there. Uh, there was something trying to uh, track X down. Uh, unlike the spotlights, however, they have a different purpose. So, this is Raider Killer, and you might notice he's incredibly easy. That's because there's a harder version of this boss. The thing trying to track you in the previous room, yeah, that's him. Uh, basically what he's doing is trying to scan X so that, uh, if he does, then he will become more powerful. There are three other versions of this sprite, so four different versions to fight. So four other different versions. Again, this one is by far the easiest. Nothing to it. And now, no matter what, no matter how well you did through the stage, uh, the alarm goes off and everything just starts going crazy, so... Just keep running, don't get crushed, don't get shot. 
you know, average day for X. That part of the song is so cool, I love it so much. Alright, so, Magnus Centipede has a really cool animation. I mean, in general, he looks like he's trying to be cool, but like, I... I really like that animation where he just sort of turns into dots. It just looks cool. That attack you want to wait and react to wherever the tail portions are. Either you jump out of it or you dash out of it. Simple as that. And eventually... <laughs> he does kind of like teleporting around. Okay, so, if you have a tendency to stick close to a boss when fighting them, don't move Magna Centipede. Uh, if you stay away, this is a very easy attack to dodge, as he just performs black magic to draw X closer to him. As long as you're far enough away, you just won't get caught by him. But that first one, I was close enough where I almost got nabbed. Uh, I should mention, uh, it doesn't just do damage if he touches you. In fact, it doesn't do damage at all. However, uh, if you get hit by this attack, you get hit by various status effects. The order of these is apparently, you lose your charge shot, you fire slower, you can't dash as far, and then your jump height is lowered. So, yeah, basically, if you get hit, that is kind of debilitating, and apparently the effects don't actually go away until you're done with a fight, so like, it's actually pretty bad to get hit. Alright, and there we go. Not too bad. Again, if he actually manages to pick you up when he's trying to draw you in, the battle does get harder, but eh, eh it's not too bad. Alright, we get Magnet Mine, though. We'll see if I use that next time. For the time being, uh... Ma magna Centipede more like sh should have had a Magnum to sh shoot me with Centipede. God, I'm so sorry.